Greetings. My name is Haku Lee. I am associate professor of radiology at Harvard Medical School and also Mass General Hospital, MGH. I am also a core faculty member at Center for Systems Biology at MGH, where I'm directing the biomedical engineering research. I'm a physicist by training, and during my PhD, I made this small device or a small chip that can control the, the motion of the individual cells. And after my PhD, I joined MGH as a research fellow, and I continued to develop these new biosystems that can help the fundamental biology as well as can be used for clinical applications. So finding and detecting biomarkers has been the central core in my research career. So initially I started with developing new sensors to detect the existing biomarkers such as cancer or infectious diseases. And while carrying out this research, so we have introduced different types of sensors integrating these cutting edge technologies, microelectronics, microfluidics, nanomaterials, and more recently, the artificial intelligence. And applying these systems, we have, find, we have found that biomarkers in the right combination of the sensors can indeed facilitate the early detection of the disease and also the patient monitoring during the treatment process. And more recently, we have realized that having these powerful sensors can really help us find new biomarkers, such as exosomes or extracellular vesicles. And these new biomarkers now shed light on the, the fundamental process in the human disease processes, and also how we can deal with the, the resistance or better treatment. And while conducting this biomedical research, I have realized there is still room for the, the improvement. And I can give you my perspective in two areas. One is the, the scalable sensor design. Your sensor should be scalable for the mass production. And we have seen many devices or systems that have been introduced in papers, but have not made into practice. I see that the major pitfall is the, the complexity of the system operation. Only the developer knows how to do it. And also, when making your sensors, they might involve the non-standard method that are not compatible with the standard production uh, pathways. To make a really practical sensor, I believe that from the start, from the sensor design phase, we really need to think about how I can scale this up eventually uh, in the, the later phase. The second aspect I want to emphasize is the, the simple preparation. I really want to turn your attention in that process because any kind of biomarker detection, you need to alter or modify the native samples, your clinical samples, to make them suitable for the specific assay. And I see that many times, that sample processing process, usually the manual processes, are the rate limiting, and also a major source of the assay variations and human errors. To make an impactable sensor, now we need to consider sample processing uh, the steps as essential as the sensor development itself in the biomarker technology uh, development. And with this effort, I truly believe that we are in the, the really exciting period. All the, the good technologies, microelectronics, microfluidics, nanoscience, and even big data, they're converging into the medicine. And by integrating these new technologies, or the techniques, we can make a truly impactful biosensor that can improve the, the human well-being. 